Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And if you are looking for a solution to recover files that uh, by mistake, by accident, you have lost either on your thumb drive, SD cards, SSD or any other storage, then probably this is the solution that you are looking for. Now today I'm going to share with you my experience with this software, which is the Turner Share for Digic and I will show you a few things right over here in just a few moments but one of the things that really helped me in the past was to recover an mp4 file and that was really really awesome now I was recording my screen updating a Windows 10 key and while I was doing the process the computer rebooted and using OBS like I'm using right now to record this video what happened was that the mp4 file got corrupted while I was saving all the process. So that was a big headache and thanks to Tenorchair I was able to get my file back and keep on doing my work. Now talking about Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, if you are looking for a budget key then we have tested out the sponsor of this video which is cdkeysales.com where we will find budget keys. We have tested the platform many times and it works just great and also we have tested the keys so really easy to purchase, really easy to activate either Windows 10, Windows 11 Pro, even Office 2021. So I will leave a link down below. Now let's talk about the data recovery software which is what we are here for today and if we open this the um, website for Tenorshare for Digic I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and I'm on the Windows version but there's also a version available for Mac OS so if you are working on Mac like I do for my video editing needs then you will be um, free to go there and just download the uh, Mac version right over here. So in terms of features uh, we have a lot of scenarios right over here. Just give you this example of the mp4 file that was corrupted but for example every single recording that I do I place a, a SD card on my Sony camera that I'm using right now and the first thing that I do is a format and it had happened to me in the past to format the wrong SD cards. At this moment I've got two right over here, another one inserted which we will test it out but this is my workflow and it probably had happened at some point in your life the same to you. Now let's get to the point and see some of the uh, issues that we can solve right over here. So we can uh, recover deleted files because sometimes we just throw them away without thinking that we had something necessary right over there. Formatted hard drive which we are going to test with the SD card but it will work with the SSD or any hard drive. And then we have lost partitions, external hard drives, raw files and crashed computers. Now this example of the MP4 was not a crash, was a reboot but it will give the same result in terms of OBS recording. So we will have a lot of files to recover. In my particular case usually it's photos or videos or audio. Basically that's what the files that I work but if you are working with other documents you'll be fine to use the software. Now one of the things that the software will give you is a preview before you purchase. So you can download and you will be able to test it out and see if it will be able to recover your files and then if yes then you can purchase the license and do the rest of the job and that is just great. That's how I did for the mp4 file. Right over here it also has the video repair involved which was the method that I used and did save my day of work in that particular day and there are a lot more info right over here that you can check out. I will leave a link down below. Now let's get to the interesting part which is to recover. Now I've got, let me refresh because I just inserted this uh, micro SD card here on the docking station. So if I go to my PC and this is in Portuguese but um, as you can see we've got a SD card right over here which has 51 free of 50 and 59 gigabytes of files. Now this was a video that I recorded a few days ago and I can mess around with it because I already have on my hard drive. This is a Sony uh, camera so it has a file structure which is not easy. As you can see if I go to clip it will show me the files that I've got right over here. So for every single clip it will create a file as well uh, for the data that it has but I've got quite a few. Let me just delete these. Sorry, 74 items with 7.65 
gigs of information right over here. So I'm not going to delete them. What we are going to do is different. I'm going to completely wipe the SD card. So I'm going to format it and let's go format. And this is the drive is in XFAT and let's go. And it's, it's stating that the unit is being used probably by tenor share, probably. Let's close it up and let's say yes and it's completely formatted okay so now the drive is completely empty let's do this example right over here let's open up tenor and there we go so this is the drive that um, we had let's refresh it but this is the drive completely empty and 59.4 of 59.4 what we are going to do is to select the location that we are going to select now as you can see we also have common locations and then advanced repairs right over here this was the service that i did mention the video repair where i did had the mp4 which was an incomplete file so it gathered the rest of the data but for this particular case i'm going to use this and let's press start now all file types probably not i want to recover videos uh, the text files don't mean nothing to me probably some audio i'm not really sure if i've got there any audios and let's scan selected file types now this will take uh, quite some time as you can see it's stating right over here that 39 minutes but it already has found 74 files and if i'm not mistaken those were exactly the files that we just formatted but there is a process right over here that we have to have in mind now it already finds those 74 which were just formatted this was the last format that we did to the card but if we want to recover something which is older than what we deleted today we will need to wait this time right over here the 38 minutes and something seconds and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a pause right over here and i will be back in just a few moments to see if it did find an older file or not and if it didn't doesn't matter because the important is that we need these that we just deleted but nonetheless let's wait a few more minutes Okay, so we are at 50% and still haven't found any more files. Now, sometimes we are a little bit luckier and we can get older files and sometimes not. We still could wait a few more minutes, but I don't see the point because you can do this even with the free trial and see if it will capture your files or not. And then if it does, you just need to purchase before it can recover because that's a premium feature. So what we are going to do right now is the recovering process to see if these files are here or not. So I'm going to press recover and it will ask me where I want to put it. I will select desktop and press recovery and it will start recovering the files and it's already created a folder right over here on my desktop so recovery completed 74 files which were exactly the ones that we had so now i can close this and i can leave it to the rest of the work let's see what we have right over here so it has a f lost location and here we go we have some files now do these files work when we have the thumbnail usually they do so if i open one right over here let's check it out if it works or not and there we are it's working just fine so this is one of the shots of my setup and if i wait for a while it will complete all this so i will just wait a few more seconds there we go it has generated all the thumbnails as you could see so this is a good indicator because when we have thumbnails usually we have video and if i take a look at some um, files right over here there we go another one working this is my watch collection right at the back by the way if you want to check out the video search for my name on youtube and you will find two channels portuguese and english you will find this setup right over there if i uh, don't forget i will leave a link right over here in the youtube cards but there we go another one working and i could select all of them that they will 
work just fine. I've tested this in real life situations and also here on these kind of scenarios. And basically this is it and I still haven't found more. I still have 11, 10 minutes and something right over here. But don't forget, I will leave a link down below for the data recover Windows version. But if you are looking for Mac as well, hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.